Hello and welcome to Knit Graffiti's tutorial for two color pearl brioche. And that's pearl spelled P-E-A-R-L, not pearl as in P-U-R-L. So don't get confused. We are actually gonna be looking at this fabric right here. So don't look at this one or this one. Look right here. So not here so much or here, but right here. Sorry for my Tommy boy reference. Okay, so it actually looks like this while you're knitting it. So it's very cool. I actually think it looks like, kind of like little birds in flight, but you can kind of see why it's called Pearl Brioche. Um, so basically what I want you to do is really open up your mind and forget everything you know about brioche. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, you've got to know a little bit about brioche, but but basically what I love about this texture is that you work brioche on one row and then you basically undo it on the next row. So I'm showing it here on my newest shawl pattern called Golden Willow. And it's really an exploration of different brioche textures and as well as some fun increasing and decreasing. So this is the other side. So that's kind of the end of the shawl. This is the beginning of the shawl. So this is actually pearl brioche right here too. And you can really see the difference in the yarns that you use. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, got my yarn here. And I'm actually using wishbone yarns. These are her gloss singles. This is the yarn I used for my Golden Willow sample. This is called Unicorn Tears. Oh my gosh, just need to make sure I have the right name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Rosewater, Rosewater. And this is Byzantine Blue. Unicorn Tears is the name of another colorway that she has, which is also gorgeous. Um, I think it's actually right here behind me on my shelf, but I digress. Okay, so I have cast on here. I used the Twisted German cast on and I just knit a couple of rows. So I just did a couple of rows of garter stitch. Okay, sorry about that. My, um, my yarn was twisted and I'm using these beautiful rosy colored needles from Hedgehog Fibers. So these are very fun, very, very fun to use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I don't have any brioche stitches yet, and I'm using the dark color, this Byzantine blue, I'm gonna actually use this as my main color um, because when you look at the pearl brioche, the little birds in flight, that's actually gonna be made with your contrast color yarn. So just kind of something to keep in mind <clears throat> if you're working this stitch and you wanna know which one is really gonna pop out. So, all right, I'm going to knit my first stitch. So that's kind of just the edge stitch. And um, I'm, actually, I'm actually just gonna knit all the way across because we don't need any brioche stitches yet. Just gonna knit the last stitch, okay? And we're gonna drop our working yarn in back. We're just gonna forget about it, forget about it. Just, you know, we'll come back to it. And we're gonna slide our work to the other end of our needles. So this is, the, this is basically why you need to work with either double pointed or circular needles because you need to be able to slide it back. All right, so now here's our working yarn for, um, our main color, so I'm gonna have that on the left over here. And now we're gonna bring in our contrast color yarn. So this is the rose water color. Um, this is the lightest color that I used in the pattern. So this will give us the most contrast for the pearl brioche. So that's why I chose these two colors. All right, so now we're basically working row one on the main side with our contrast color. So we basically just worked row one 
MSMC. And now we're gonna work row one MSCC, meaning main side contrast color. So I'm, I like a, to keep a clean selvage, so I'm actually just gonna slip this first stitch pearl-wise onto my needle. And this first stitch, we're just gonna pearl. So let me see if I can find that end of my yarn here. All right. So I'm just gonna pearl that first stitch. I'll show this both English and continental style. So I'm gonna pearl that first stitch. And now we're gonna do some brioching. So I'm gonna do a slip one yarn over. So slip one with yarn in front, bring working yarn around the needle back to the front, creating that wrapped stitch. So we just created our first brioche stitch here. And then I'm just gonna purl one. So I'm just gonna repeat that across the row. Purl one. Slip one, yarn over, purl one. I'll show in continental style. So I just purled a stitch. So slip one, yarn over. Oops. Purl one. So I lost that yarn over. Can you tell that I'm a natural English style knitter? <laughs> All right, slip one, yarn over, purl one, slip one, yarn over, purl one, and then our last stitch, we're just gonna slip it with the yarn in front. So now you can drop your working yarn for your contrast color should be in the front and your main color should be in the back. So now we've just completed row one. So a good way to know that you've worked the row correctly is to kind of look at your work and you wanna make sure you have a single stitch next to a brioche stitch. So I kind of count them, I kind of say, you know, slip, bark, slip, bark, slip, bark, slip, bark, slip, bark, slip, bark, slip. And then you know you've done it correctly. So now we can turn our work. Sorry, I just need to untangle things. <clears throat> so now we're on row two on the contrast side and we're gonna work again first with our main color yarn. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna completely omit all the brioche stitches. So we have brioche stitches on our needles. When we're done with this row, we won't have any on our needles anymore. So I'm gonna purl the first stitch, purl the next stitch, and then now we've come to a brioche stitch, right? You've got, this is the stitch we previously slipped and this is the yarn over, so you can see it wrapping there behind it. I'm gonna brioche pearl. Pearl. Brioche pearl. Or burp, as I like to say. <laughs> I'll show you in um, Continental. Pearl. Sorry, I'm a weird continental pearler. Pearl. Brioche pearl. Pearl. Brioche pearl. And our last two stitches will be get in there pearl and pearl. Oh, my yarn kind of loosened up here a little bit, so if you ever find that, you can just kind of give it a little tug. It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna slide now. Okay, so we've got, this is our main color yarn, just hanging out, waiting. 
<clears throat> and now we're gonna work with our contrast yarn. Okay, sorry about that. My air conditioning turned on and it's very loud. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it. Um, TMI, no? Okay, so now we're gonna work row two, contrast side, contrast color, right? So this is our contrast color. So we're gonna slip the first stitch and then, see now, oh yeah, did you see, by the way? No more brioche stitches, right? No more, they're all gone. So now we need to do like a little mini setup row. So we're gonna slip the first stitch, we're gonna bring our working yarn forward, slip, and then we're just gonna do a yarn over. See, slip one yarn over, knit the next stitch. And I'm an English style knitter, so for me, when I'm doing that action, I just bring my working yarn forward, slip one, and then I just leave my working yarn in the front before I knit the next one. And when I'm knitting the next stitch, I automatically create that yarn over. Uh, but here, I'll show you. Got simple style. Yarn forward, slip one, yarn over. Oops, sorry, I guess it would help if I was in camera. Yarn forward, slip one, yarn over, knit one, yarn forward, slip one, yarn over, knit one, yarn forward, slip one, yarn over, knit one. And then we'll end with yarn forward, slip one, yarn over, and then we'll slip that last stitch and we'll turn. So now we've kind of got like a weird funky thing um, going on here with that stitch, but don't worry, it'll sort of negate it when we do the next row. So that's basically it. Um, you just repeat those two rows over and over and over and over again. <laughs> That's what gives you that beautiful, beautiful fabric. So I'll just work through row one again. So now row one, because the first time we worked through it, we didn't really work through it as it is in pattern. So we're gonna knit one. So we're working again with our main color first, and then we're gonna brioche knit the next stitches. So so that we kind of kept that yarn over there. And now we're just going to knit one and then brioche knit one or bark knit one, bark one, knit one, bark one, knit one. and just continue that across the row. And we'll end with bark one and knit one. Okay, so now we drop our working yarn again, slide, work back. So now you can kind of see, can you see the little birds in flight. This is actually kind of open, uh, a little more open than I normally do. Um, Cause I think I'm using a little bit of a bigger needle right now, but you can still get the idea. What you're basically doing is you're working kind of a stockinette fabric with your main color yarn. And then your brioche yarn overs are cr what are creating those those little V's. So if you wanted to kind of understand the construction of the fabric. So again, we don't have any brioche stitches on our needles. So now we're just going to work through again with our contrast color, slip the first stitch and I'm going to, um, purl that. And then Slip one, yarn over, purl one. Slip one, yarn over, purl one. 
if you're wondering um, which row you're on, you know, basically the, the contrast side does not have the little Vs that the main side does. And you can always clip a removable marker on the front so that you know, oh, hey, this is my main side. Um, and also, you know, you wanna make sure that where the yarn overs were on the previous row, you want it to be the opposite. That's what kind of gives it that staggered look. Okay, then we're gonna purl one and then slip one. There you go, and then you would just work row two as before. And again, this is what your fabric will look like when you're done. And um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and my newest pattern, Golden Willow. Thank you so much for watching.